Eukaryotic mRNA is the only RNA species to have both a 5-cap and a poly-A tail. These are post-transcriptional modifications that protect your transcription and aid in your translation. In another video, I put a silly little hat on my head to prove that point. So the poly-A tail does not come from the DNA template. Instead, it's added after transcription by the poly-A polymerase. It makes it an interesting target for your biology tool in this practice question. So we're studying RNA types, selectively binding them to the T. So which of the following RNAs would not be isolated during this method? Okay, this is going to be 18S RNA. You might be saying, like, why? Okay, well, only mature mRNA has your poly A tail. And if you had a lot of Ts, they're going to want to latch on to those As. And so 18S RNA is a component of the small ribosomal subunit, lacks that poly A tail, and will not bind with those beads. So it's all about that poly A tail, right? So we have a beta, beta globin mRNA that has a poly A tail. It will bind. This is processed mRNA. Alpha tubulin mRNA. This is also polyadenylated and translated, so it's going to bind. Myosin heavy chain. This is protein coding mRNA with a poly A tail, so it'll easily bind. It's your 18S here that lacks your poly A tail. So it's not mature yet, so that's why it's not going to bind. All right, so five cap, it's added post-transcriptionally. Poly A tail at the three prime end, not transcribed from DNA. Poly A tail binds here, and the splicing removes your introns. So your rRNA, tRNA, and DNA lack poly A tails, and that's all there is to it. If it's helpful, like and subscribe.